After a woman's age, male infertility is the most common cause for a couple having difficulty in conceiving. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 sperm killers. I'll share with you the top factors that affect sperm health and some things to look out for in regards to male fertility. I'm Dr. Shadi Kashaba, a fertility specialist with IVF Australia, and I've helped both men and women over the last 10 years achieve their dreams of having a family. As a fertility specialist with an interest in male fertility factors, I know that male infertility affects around 40% of all infertile couples. Thanks to our evolving technology and expertise, we can diagnose the most common causes of male infertility and help find the right treatment option for you. When a couple experiences difficulties conceiving with a male factor involved, we start off by analyzing the male partner's sperm or semen analysis and overall lifestyle factors such as BMI and analyze the medical history and other lifestyle choices. When investigating male infertility, a semen analysis is usually the first test a man will have. Understanding the results is therefore a crucial step of the process and will help to find the cause of why you've been unsuccessful in trying to conceive. But what information does a sperm analysis tell you? Well, we start with the semen volume. The average volume of semen produced at ejaculation is around 1.5 million. That's what we need it at least to be. Motility and morphology, which is basically how many good looking swimmers are in the sample and the total number of sperm in the whole ejaculate. A normal semen analysis result would show a sperm count of at least 40 million, with at least one third of those showing forward movement or good swimming movement. So what are the top factors or top 10 factors that can diminish sperm count and or quality and prevent you from having a family sooner? All right, so we're gonna start with number one, which is smoking. Smoking definitely affects men's fertility. And how does smoking affect actually fertility? Is by having an oxidative stress on the sperm. So when the sperm gets it produced in the testicle and it passes through the production line, it gets attacked by a lot of oxidative stress or oxidants that damages the sperm DNA and hinders their swimming capacity. Not only that, it can kill some of the sperm that is being ejaculated, hence reduces the chances of them fertilizing the egg. And that will take us to number two, alcohol. Alcohol can affect men fertility in multiple ways. The first thing that it can actually increase is your estrogen level in the body. And by increasing your estrogen level, that will affect two things, sperm production and sexual function. So definitely limit alcohol intake or to moderate amounts, one or two standard drinks once or twice a week. Number three, recreational drugs. Studies have shown that smoking cannabis can actually affect the sperm swimming capacity. So they become a bit dizzy when you produce the sperm and they can't find the egg. Steroids have been major, uh, has major impact on sperm production. When you provide your body with excess testosterone or steroids, the testicles stop producing its own testosterone and hence it stops producing the sperm production too. So that definitely has a great impact on your fertility potential. The fourth point, excess weight. When men accumulate body fat, especially around the tummy area, this fat doesn't stay idle, it's actually hormonally active. And it transforms your body's testosterone into estrogen. And that also has detrimental effects on sperm production. Not only that, excess fat around the thigh areas and the pubic area can reduce the ventilation and uh, the aeration of the scrotum and the testicle. So it'll be warmer down there. And we know that warm temperatures is no good for sperm production. And that will bring me to the fifth point, bad diet. We all know that healthy diet can actually improve your fertility potential, especially Mediterranean diet, which is rich in antioxidants and essential oils that is <laughs> necessary for sperm productions. And of course, we look at your past medical conditions or history. If you had undescended testicle when you were a child and then that necessitated surgery to 
bring it down. So hernias, any operation in the pelvic area, or previous STIs, such as chlamydia or gonorrhea, or history of severe trauma, that you had a road traffic accident or a motorbike accident, those are definitely gonna affect your sperm production. But the seventh killer is acute viral illness, which is actually like severe cold or you got mumps virus. These can actually increase your body temperature and can halt sperm production. The effect could last up to 70 to 90 days, and that's where actually the sperm production cycle takes. So any intervention about your health will take around 70 to 90 days to find the results of your lifestyle changes. Bring me to the eighth point, exposure to chemicals or toxins. Certain workers in certain industries get exposed to harsh chemicals. And we know by either inhalation or contact uh, through the skin, they can absorb some of those chemicals which can affect the sperm production. The ninth point, advanced paternal age. Recent studies shows that actually men's fertility drop by getting older. Not only that, certain genetic conditions can be more common as we get older for men. So do you have to freeze sperm when, you get, when you're young? Maybe, maybe not. The jury is still out about that. But try to conceive as soon as you're financially, psychologically, and you have a partner and you're ready to start a family. And last but not least, hormonal problems of erectile and ejaculation difficulties. If you can't perform sexually, definitely there will be a delivery problem. And definitely we can help you with this part, either by using some tablets or medications that could help you with uh, achieving uh, an erection and ejaculation. While these are all important factors to consider when trying for a baby, there are some myths that despite what you might have heard, do not have an impact on your fertility. So I'm gonna go through a few of those myths and debunk them. Number one is tight clothes, such as bike shorts, will lower sperm counts. No, if you cycle for a very long period, for many times during the day, yeah, it might lower your sperm count. Stay away from hot tubs. Now, come on, how many hours can you spend in a hot tub? An hour or two would not affect your sperm count. Cell phones and laptops will lower your sperm count. None of that has been proven. Too much coffee can kill your sperm. Not really, actually, there have there've been some studies that showed men who consume more than four cups of coffee can have higher sperm swimming capacity. Another myth is being hit in the groin during sports will affect your ability to have children. Now, everyone plays sports and something happened in the past, not necessarily, unless there was severe injury that caused uh, a trauma to the testicle that needed hospitalization and surgery. Sperm only survives an hour after ejaculation. Not true at all. Actually, sperm survives seven days after ejaculation in the woman's body. And they take their time to find the egg and just wait for the egg to ovulate. And then they start fertilizing the egg and they move to implant inside the uterus. If you would like to find out more about male fertility tests and treatments, book a semen analysis or make an appointment with a fertility specialist. We're always happy to help. And if you want to see more videos speaking on all things fertility, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you have good questions on anything I've spoken about in this video, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and take care.